Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, April 11th, 2019. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice here that price is currently holding within a very narrow multi day range here. This uh, narrow range has persisted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days uh, or more, eight days. And if you look down here, again, this is just looking at a four day range average, but we are very, very compressed. If we uh, look at our typical five day average, it's still going to be compressed. So that tells us right now that this market is, is happy being range bound. Uh, it continues to trade back and forth, but at some point here, we will see expansion that takes us uh, to a nice trending phase, at least for you know a couple of weeks. I mean, for for example, back over here, we had a two-week rally, a two-week rally this way. This was about a three-week rally. We're in this phase about to see the breakout, or we're in this phase about to see this break with a continuation, right? So we're right here. Do we break down again and then rally? How's it going to look? Given the current trend of the market, everything suggests more upside. Uh, even if we do rotate back down, say, as low as 28.30, that could still be a buying opportunity for a continuation toward 2950. So right now, this market remains quite bullish until proven otherwise. Any breakdowns or drops uh, should be seen as buying opportunities if rejection uh, is seen. So that's kind of the framework right now for the ES. If we take a look here at the NQ, you'll see that we're seeing very similar price action, very sideways, quiet, range-based action here you see down here very compressed anytime you have that magenta color there that tells you that price the price range is less than 65 percent of average that tells us that we're in a compression phase over here it is quantified as 50 percent of average so we are trading at half of normal volatility here uh, or at least half of normal recent volatility um, so that again suggests that we could eventually see some action here pretty soon. If we break down first, it's going to be in lockstep with the current uptrend. That could provide a great buying opportunity for a continuation higher until proven otherwise. So that again is the framework to work off of for the ES and the NQ. If we take a look at crude oil, this one is trending up too. Very, very bullish. This one is perhaps more bullish than the ES and the NQ. The recent rejections on these lows have been so strong, and uh, the continuations have been very, very bullish. So right now, again, very strong continuation overall. Right now, we have a very narrow three-day range after expansion. It's very similar to this day over here. Are we going to continue to trend higher in this current uptrending market structure? Market structure continues to go up, up, up. Uh, at some point, we have to pull back, but again, look at the Pimas here. Very, very bullish. Any pullback into that zone with the LVN could still be a great continuation higher, so that could be a buying opportunity right there. So at the moment, again, any break of multi-day lows could be a great opportunity to watch for rejection, say 63s in that LVN, 62.70 to 63. If we were to drop that low, Watching for rejections could be the way to go because that could provide another continuation. Um, so again, very bullish market. While we could continue to sit here for a little bit here, again, watching for expansion or failed expansion in the case if it goes down. That's the idea for crude oil. Let's take a look now at gold futures. What you'll see here with gold is that we're having quite a move lower here in pre-market after hours and pre-market trading. Uh, this one got nearly to 1315, right? From this rejection, I mentioned that we could be looking at a return back to 1320 to 1325. Uh, I mentioned that this is the key range low here, and that's the midpoint. So 131530 should usually be a very good target to hit. It's also the FOMC key level from uh, January of this year. Now, one thing you'll notice is that we're we're seeing quite a bit of selling pressure here today but we're just below the previous sessions low that's going to be the level to watch the previous sessions low it's about 1304 and change 1305 basically uh, if, if price starts to find or reestablish acceptance back above that low that could uh, lead to kind of a tail type of session where price is pushing higher but for right now 
Uh, what we talked about before is that 1300 level, 1298 to 1300, as long as that zone continues to hold, we can drop another leg. As long as that zone continues to hold, we could see a continuation higher toward those 1320 to 1325s. So right now, seeing a bit of weakness here, uh, and we'll see if, uh, if price continues to hold the 1300 zone. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I will see you in the trading room. See you soon.